Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to get access to a brand new airdrop that's coming out pretty soon. In fact, it's coming out over the next three months, but you're gonna to wanna to do something in the next five days in order to boost your ability to get this airdrop. This one's called Mode.Network, and it's another L2 that runs in parallel to the Optimism Network, which is another L2 that's on Ethereum. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go over to this site. The link is down below. It is actually a referral code link because the way they have this set up, you're gonna get an extra boost from referring your friends. So, and hopefully when you guys go and claim your allocation, you can use your referral code with your friends to get even more points yourself. So go over to this website right here and you're gonna see that you have to do three steps. The first one is to put in the referral code, which you'll already have in there if you use the link down below. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and sign in with your Twitter accounts, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and connect your wallet. Now, you can use any one of the wallets you've used previously, but as you'll see here, there are six different categories that show you different amounts of earnings of points you can get for doing previous activity on chain. So there's DeFi, there's DGen, there's OG, there's Yield, Ethereum scaling, and NFTs. Now I can't say for sure what is what because they don't actually tell you the specifics. After I go ahead and connect my wallet, that I have the NFT and the OG categories selected. So I actually earned 117.8 points just from having those two categories, something qualified within those. Now the last step here is gonna be to go ahead and bridge some Ethereum from the Ethereum mainnet to mode network. And this is really easy. It's basically just gonna send 0.01 Ethereum from your wallet over to your uh, mode network version of your wallet, which again, it's an L2 on Ethereum. So you're still gonna have the same Ethereum. It's just gonna be on the L2 of mode network. And you're basically just starting to test out the network by bridging. It's pretty cheap, it's pretty easy, and I say cheap with quotation marks here because this is Ethereum and you know how much that costs. We're looking at between three and $10 cheap, not two cents cheap like Solana, unfortunately. But hopefully we will get that money back when this airdrop comes out. Now, if you guys want to get more points, you can bridge even more Ethereum over, and you can actually go ahead and do step two of this video, which is to go right over here and go to layer3.xyz. If you've used this site before, you may know what it is. It's basically a way for new projects to um, easily have all of their new users, learn about the network, do activities, do quests to engage with the network in a very streamlined format. So I'll leave this link down below as well, but as you can see right here, there are a handful of different quests that will be unlocking over the next several days, in fact, over the next 10 days, as of making this video at least. We're gonna go ahead and do all of the quests that are available right now, and I suggest you do the same, and then come back over the next 10 days to complete the new quests as they come out. You'll be able to verify right on layer three site whether or not you actually achieved it and you'll get XP points and achievements for actually doing this, which will eventually help you get more airdrop points. Now, as you can see here, there are a couple of these that already show the partners that they have on this project and they've already said in their um, announcement that they're gonna have partner projects. If you interact with their partners, you'll get more points for the airdrop allocation. So I've actually gone over here to space ID, so space.id, and as you can see, they call it the mode name service and it's basically just gonna be a dot mode domain that you can link to your wallet. So I already have mattcabuzio.eth, which is my Ethereum name service, my ENS domain. I can go over here and buy matt.mode, which is $50 a year, which is kind of expensive. Or I can go and do mattscrypto.mode for five bucks a year. I'm gonna do that one just to get my, you know, on-chain activity, have the name, have the space ID, have interacted with his partner, and hopefully get some more points for the airdrop by buying a $5 one-year cheap domain that I'm probably not gonna end up using, but if this... Network really does hit it big, becomes one of the most popular twos, then there you go, I already have my mode name service. So I have that, that's pretty easy. The transaction fee is again gonna be a couple dollars because it's on Ethereum. The next one you can go over here and do is you can actually put some money, um, you know, put some liquidity out there on this ionic.money. Now I, I'm gonna put a very small amount, I'm only putting like two, three dollars of wrapped Ethereum on here, and it's gonna cost me more than that just to wrap the Ethereum and then put it on the site with gas fees and that's why I don't wanna put a lot in here because I just don't particularly feel comfortable putting a lot of liquidity in here, but I am gonna do it just to have that achievement checked off so that if the minimum allocation for the airdrop is one of the checkpoints is this 
I have it checked off. Even though I didn't do a lot of volume or a lot of money, I still have it checked off. That's why I'm gonna do this one as well. The third partner they already have shown here is the Kim Exchange, which is basically just another swap exchange on the mode network. I'm not gonna do this one just yet because as you can see right here, the discrepancy and you know the slippage fees essentially in between trading ETH into USDC on the mode network are quite high right now. We're looking at like 30% based on this small amount right here from $6 to $4. Um, maybe not 30%, it's more like 20%. But still, I don't want to do this yet because this is going to be a quest on layer three anyway. So when I go and do those quests, I will come back to this one later and hope that the gas fees are a little bit better. Hopefully there's more liquidity. And so the, the, the slippage and the amount of uh, money I'll actually lose by doing this swap will be a little bit less because hopefully there'll be more people using it and more liquidity to go around at that point. So we can do that on the layer three quest later on. The other two ones are also going to be quests, but I've already done those in this video just because I want to get ahead of the game. We can even do them again if we want to, to try to add add more to our uh, abil ability to get a higher airdrop amount. But all these quests that you really want to focus on doing are all in layer three, very easily laid out for you. But the thing you need to do right now is make sure you click that link, sign up, connect your wallet. And if you want to invite your friends, because over the next five days, as you can see right here, there is a boost for points. So any any money you bridge, any things you do over the next five days, as far as I know, will be a boosted reward rate. Now, if you wanna know about all the airdrops we're doing right now, and there's a bunch right now, we are deep in the weeds, there's literally dozens of these you can do. I've only made a video about a few of them that I think are the most prevalent and that you should hop on right away as they come out, like this video. But if you wanna see all the airdrops all laid out, step by step what to do, all the links you need, all the deadlines and due dates, I have an amazing airdrop farming guide spreadsheet. Modes already announced that this is gonna be available to interact with and do these things up until April 2024. So over the next two months or so, you'll have plenty of time to go and do this stuff. But if you are watching this video, it doesn't hurt to start getting interacting now so you have even more volume accumulated over the next two months and you'll have the highest potential airdrop amount when that time comes. Now, I've already connected one of my wallets, but I'm going to go ahead and connect a different one here to see if I am eligible for yet another claim. All right, so I have 92.4 points on this wallet. It looks like I didn't actually qualify for any of these four categories, uh, sorry, six categories that they have here, but somehow I still got 92 points. So it's safe to say if you have a random wallet that you haven't used much, you might actually get some points even if you haven't done any of these things, just like this wallet really hasn't done a whole lot. The next step and the final fourth step would be to, again, Again, go ahead and bridge some of your Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet over to the mode network. So again, we'll do 0 0.01. Our transaction will pop up over here and we're gonna spend a fat $6 just in gas fees to bridge the uh, Ethereum over to the mode network. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there's a chance that we spend more in gas here than it's even worth, but my heart says that this is the game of crypto. If you wanna make money, you gotta spend money. And sometimes you gotta be willing to lose a little bit of money just to make some money. So uh, there you go, that's how you do it. I would do it on all of the wallets that you think would be eligible. The more points, the merrier, why not? And you can see here, I actually have a different referral code on this account. So like I said before, go ahead and use your referral code once you finish, once you get to this airdrop page here. For the next five days, if you go and invite your friends and they sign up, you're gonna get a portion of the points that they actually earn. So everyone here is gonna win. Again, link down below to use my referral code and then go and send your referral code to other people. You don't have to share mine. Go and get your own uh, referral code out there and do your thing.